This is it. This is the first league encounter between the biggest of rivals, the GMB Nottingham Panthers against the Sheffield Steelers at the Capital FM Arena. It's Panthers versus Steelers. It's Nielsen versus Thompson. It's Veekman versus Plant. You know you're getting on in years when you can remember interviewing the visiting goalie's dad many, many moons ago when he played at Peterborough. But the younger plant is the netminder that's hoping to backstop the Steelers to victory. Mika Veekman is hoping to do the same for the GMB Panthers. Veekman goes into this one still in pole position in the netminding charts. And the Panthers are without Jeff Waugh. He's hoping to be back in a week's time on the ice. Tonight he'll be with me, Gary Mran, on commentary duty. We're also without Robert Farmer. And of course, after that late incident in the Edinburgh game, Stephen Schultz is missing from the lineup as well. Sheffield have a couple more plays than the Panthers, but it's the goals tally that will count come the end of this one. Matt and Mark are on the cameras, and as I say, it's Gary and Jeff on commentary duty. Elite League Action, sponsored by AJKM. Target stick behind by Tyler Plant. Panthers hustling for the puck. Steelers have got it out. Jason Hewitt turns it inside. It's a two-on-one for the Steelers. And they shoot and score. Top corner. Goal comes at 11.41. They'd been mounting a bit of pressure. Panthers had relieved it, gone down the other end. And then Steelers came back and fired it over the shoulder of Mika Veekman. And it's 1-0 to the visitors on. Oh, Panthers pass was wayward, it's picked off, Ben O'Connor waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Was in the back of the net, into the roof and back out behind Mika Veekman. 15-12 gone, Sheffield have a two-goal lead at arch-rivals Nottingham. They're checking with the goal judge if it went right to the back of the net rather than the, the pipe work. The referees aren't sure. Given the goal. Panthers firing in and it hits a pad. Paul Swindlehurst gets to his man and takes him out. And now there's going to be a penalty on the play. I don't know about that, hey Gary? I, I, I kind of looked at where Larry put the put the pass there. I didn't really see the hit. Is it a trip or? Well, it's, 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 it's so similar to so tight though, the penalty it. given in Cardiff last weekend when Brad Moran in a foot race got in front of his man, leant in front of him, put his body across it, and then the guy got rubbed out. And they've called it tripping, I think, the middle to Brad Moran. Start of the move, can he finish it? He dishes it out to point. Saric put too much on it. Shuffled have given it back. Oh, nice pick by Mar here. Brad Moran, we've got a man at the back door. Yes, Panthers score! Five minutes into the second period. Super, super play by Brad Moran. And Panthers have opened the game up with a goal for Uri Kolnick. Oh, what a play, what a play. Mo picked it up and yeah, basically we outweighted the D and the goalie slid over to Coco and the rest is history. We really needed that big kill. Mika stood on his head there a couple of times on the penalty kill. And he answered back. Well, that looked like Panther hockey, and Brad Moran started the move by intercepting, then was involved in the middle, and then a super feed across to Coco, and he's no clown. Yeah, that is a veteran uh, lineup there Coco, Linger, and uh, Brad. A lot of experience on that line. Now, I've said this before, I'm old school, but right now, Cam would be on there with a, a mission to get things going even more. I'm sure he's itching for something. Well, Fitzgerald wouldn't have any choice if I was the coach. <laughs> Sent in by Dimon. Plant leaves it for his D-man. Sent out to Lawrence. Lawrence inside. Now he's following up on Vestberg. Vestberg. Taken out by Panthers, Cam comes back to mop up for Nottingham. Sends it forward, but... Uh, yeah, he stays with it. Oh, yeah, he did. Stuck with the task. Oh, nice. Panthers to the back door. Schmidt right to the front. Just needed a touch from Ollie Betridge, and the roof would have come off. Lawrence is away to the races. He's controlled it. Stick in from Jeff Dimon. Superb play by the Panthers defenseman. He's bounced right around. It's in the air. Wah shoots from about... That's got to be a high stick, I think. Poot 
loop, puck loop, loop behind him, and he spun round and, and just batted it out of the I don't air. I think he saw it. He just did it in motion. I hear he's good with his stick, but that was pure luck. Legui with the draw for Sheffield. Myers for Nottingham. Myers needs help, but Nottingham win it. Oh, good fake. Gives it to Clarkey. Brian Schmidt shoots and scores! Back of the net! 36-46, nice play. Lovely little dummy. And then across from Clark to Schmidt. And he rifled it home on the bottom rail. Oh, what a goal. He's got the hat. Hot hand right now, Schmidty does. I think that's what three for him this year. Four year. Anyways, great shot by uh, Schmidty, great pass by Clarkey. You could tell we were on the verge of something there. A couple of good chances in a row there. Lakovic. Lakovic's helping. No one, no one there to help him, but Mize has come off the bench. Sends it round the back, tries to do the dirty work himself. Out from Clark, Lakovic hits his captain, or oh, clever play. But all it's led to is a dump in. Fitzgerald sends it round, can Panthers keep it in with Steve Lee? Yes, they can. Sends it to the middle channel. Clark spins and yeah. shoots! And Panthers score the equalising goal! I think there was a tip right in front, but at 38-41, Panthers have tied the game. Woo! Oh, the boys are going now. So you got to do, put the puck in the net. Clarky did a little spin around there, threw it there. Either went right in through a screen, or like you said, maybe Mizey. I, I, I think Mizey got the tip. Mizey I think Matthew tip. Myers. He likes yeah. to be called Matthew, Matthew and I. Matthew, yeah. And when you're doing that, son, I'll we'll call, call you call anything. Matthew. I'll call you Sir. <laughs> sir Matthew, eh? He like that. It started with a big hit in the corner there. It was Matthew with a big hit, and then the rest well, is well, history. It was confident play coming, wasn't yeah. it? Those stepovers that didn't work twice yeah. and leaving the puck. That's clever play. That's confident play. They've given yeah. it to Clarkey at the moment. That's why they're playing Dave Clark 5 and feeling oh, glad all over. Oh, that's a song, eh? The ref's not given that trip on Andy Bombach. That's all I can say. The ref hasn't given it. Evan Mosey gets it for Nottingham, sends it across, Andy Bumbach shoots oh, and God. scores! Back of the net! Nottingham Panthers at 39-01 have turned this Halloween game on its pumpkin! Well, look, well it looks like you want me back because I called one goal before uh, the end of the period and we got three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, I might injure you in training next week just <laughs> to keep you up here. Oh, the place is going nuts in here, what a play. 6,666 of them on Halloween. I don't even know what happened there, I jumped off my seat, I don't even know. Control, Sheffield have kept it in the zone, but then it hits a skate of Logan McMillan, the Panthers bring it forward, Matthew Myers carries it, his line mates are changing. Mosey comes in and shoots oh. and hits the outside of the post. And you tell me why the whistle's gone. No idea. I'm baffled. So I've only been around... Is he checking to see if he went through the net? Maybe he's checking. He can do it when he's plastered. Oh, I'd love him to point to the back of the net. Even, even the go even plants looking. You can look at the net, you know, we had one last year and uh, it went through it two or three times. They're not going to. They're, they're oh, they're gonna. going to have a proper consultation. It's not our usual uh, goal judge because they're at the wedding. No. <laughs> he didn't put the light on, did he? No. No, you can't do that, Gate. Well, if it hit the inside of the post, it went through the net. Yeah, I don't know here. David Ling's chirping center ice. Linesman's noticed one of them. David won't shut up. No, he's yapping. I've tried to shut him up for a season and a three weeks and it doesn't work. He's given the goal! The Panthers lead by two! And David Ling celebrates across the Panthers GMB logo. I didn't see what happened there, I don't know. It is standard. 
Panthers winning the battles for the Bucks yeah. at the moment. Extra effort. Lawrence to the front, stick him, and it's a goal for the Steelers. Lawrence put a stick in to tee it up right between the hash marks. They went upstairs again, and Mika vikman has been beaten for a fourth time. Matthew Myers wins the draw against Chris Lawrence. Panthers send it round to David Link. He smuggles it off the boards. Had a look over his shoulder, Lakovitz. Myers takes it on, it's bouncing. Lakovitz lifts the stick and gets possession. Big slash from Moyer. Matt Lakovitz turns away from him, gets it out to Schmidty on the blue line. Schmidty fakes one, bounces one. It's just off target. Stick high on Matthew Myers. Jeff Dimon hits the crossbar and the referee says it hit the back bar. And it's a goal for the Nottingham Panthers. They lead by six goals to four. And Jeff Dimon put it into the back of the net and back out over the blue paint. Good for you, Dims. Panthers oh, lead by two. He's been wanting that one. He's been wanting that one for a while. Oh, what a shot. It's one of those, yeah, just good possession. 19 to go. Face off to the right of Mika Beekman. We've seen everything else here tonight. May as well see that. Panthers coming through the net's empty. Logan McMillan slides it home. Back of the net. Thompson pulled his keeper. Panthers won the puck. Colnick directed operations and Logan McMillan deserves a goal for all his efforts tonight. Panthers lead by seven goals to four. This one's heading for the history books. Brad Moran joins us. Brad, I think there are a lot of unsung heroes out there for the Panthers in the win against the Sheffield Steelers, but it was a great character win for the team coming from so far back at one point. Yeah, I think we had to uh, steady ourselves after a bad start, but I think we stuck with the plan. We tightened it up and we got our chances. We had a good couple minutes where we got three or four goals and uh, rode it from there. Came back into it after that bad first period from 2-0 down to get a goal, and then immediately they got a, a weird goal, a, a Halloween goal. Yeah, I didn't see their third one, but it's tough when we, uh, you know, you cut the lead in half and the next shift they get a get a weird goal, but it didn't bother us. I think uh, came right back, had a great finish of the second and rolled from there. And then in the third period, it just looked like a weight had been lifted off a lot of shoulders and everyone was playing with a bit more confidence and a bit more flow. Yeah, it's it's been a tough, it's been a while since we've had the lead. We've come from behind a lot and had to win games, so it was nice to get ahead and uh, just kind of grind it out, make them have to open it up and give us more chances. All right, it was Halloween. Was that a trick or was that a treat? Uh, a bit of both, I think. <laughs> Got away with one.